when you or your parents grow older, you hope to have a neighbor like Marlene Wellington around. We have a group of people that I'm very fond of. We help each other. For example, one of her friends in the condo complex has been sick. I make lunch, or we go out to lunch, or I shop for her or something. Another neighbor can't drive, and when he needed to go to the Social Security office in Miami, Marlene took him. So I pulled in across the street in a lot, not to park my car, but just to let him out and watch and see that he got there safely. It was across the street. Back in the parking lot, Marlene was the one with the problem. And all of a sudden, I heard this huge noise, and I looked up, and there was this tow truck. So I went running over, no, no, and banging on the window. And then he looked at me and then pulled. As the driver tried to quickly pull away with Marlene's car, he realized he had not hooked up the vehicle the right way. By that time, he had done the damage. Marlene's bumper had been pulled from the car. A witness saw what happened and called police. The tow truck driver was not happy. He promptly told me to go myself. He told the witness uh, to go himself. Then he told the policeman that he could do it also. The police ticketed the tow truck driver for careless driving. Marlene then contacted the tow company's insurance representative, but he said they were not paying for the damage to her car. He said the man who hit you, who was driving the tow truck, is not registered as one of the drivers for this tow truck company. That meant either Marlene had to pay the deductible for her insurance to fix the bumper or pay the entire $670 herself to get it repaired. I'm riding around with a bumper that's half off. So Howard, the tow company's insurance claims the driver was not registered to drive the truck and they don't have to pay. True or false? It's true the insurance company probably doesn't have to pay, but the tow truck company is responsible for the negligent acts of its drivers. And since the driver damaged Marlene's car, the company has to pay to repair the bumper. We spoke to the tow truck driver. He denied cussing out Marlene to the police, said he didn't even hook up to her car, that she ran over a rock and she and the police blamed him for it. Since that sounded unlikely, we then contacted Angel Torres, the owner of the towing company. When we told him what had happened, he asked to see the police report, thanked us, and told Marlene to take her car to her dealer and he would pay the bill to repair the vehicle. And while we're on the subject of towing, Howard says you need to know a couple of things. A driver cannot do what is called trolling. In other words, sitting and waiting for someone to park illegally. The driver has to be asked by the owner of the property or their representative to come tow a vehicle. And if you get there before they pull away, they have to release your car as long as you pay 50% of the charge had it been towed away. Marlene likes to help her neighbors. Fortunately, we were able to pay her back for them and help her. I'm enormously grateful and thankful to you folks at uh, Channel 7 uh, because I, I could not have accomplished this without you. Thanks, Marlene, but the owner of Torres Towing was the one who was really nice. His driver? Oh, well, anyway, if you get towed, to make sure it's legal, ask to see the signature of the person who called the towing company. If it's not signed, it's illegal. The towing company will probably force you to pay to release your car, but later the law is on your side and you're entitled to get your money back. Towing around a problem that's dragging you down? Ready to unhook from the headache? Sign up with us. We'll go toe to toe with them and hopefully release you from your problem. Will this help me, Howard? I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News.